People come from all over to hunt. Ghosts is one of the most popular spots. McIntyre Villa. Full body shadow person with glowing eyes. Oh my. That there he is. When visitors were spending the night at the house, voices. Bye. Listen carefully. Hey guys. You cannot walk through this area of the house without getting a Blair Witch vibe. Dude, they don't go. Just do Follow that. the bloom now. Follow the bloom. Let's go. Oh my god. This is crazy. You'll have a different look on your face. I can promise you that. We're following you. Whoa! Guys, the bloom went into the room. The bloom went in the room. Doors opening in the middle of the night. We're making contact. Whoa! Yes! I just caught it and the ball at the same Thank time. Thank you so much. That's oh, going you... downstairs, dude. Dude, take us. Oh my god, this is crazy. Dude, I think I see it, bro. Dude, that is so f big. Hold on, I don't know if that's it. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> This has got to be the biggest place that we've ever investigated, dude. Holy oh, shit. There's no doubt in my mind that there is some spirit that is pissed. Dude, they have a basement. <laughs> we're just going to have to slim pick tonight, dude. <laughs> we're going to have to go find out. Dude, <laughs> I'm terrified. Tonight we are going to a place that locals claim is where the devil's witch had lived. The McIntyre Villa. What's new, red sky, reach out for so, so high. Yeah. Okay. People come from all over to hunt ghosts in one of the most popular spots, McIntyre Villa. Is it haunted? It is haunted. <laughs> Doors opening in the middle of the night. Are you happy that we're in here? No, I'm not. Visitors to the house have heard things too. Footsteps at the end of the hall. No, no, no. The mansion was built in 1890 in a small town called Atchison, Kansas for a very successful and wealthy man named John McIntyre. His first wife, Alice, had unfortunately passed away in the house just two years after it was built. In 1895, he had married his second wife, Anna. They would live together happily in the home until John had passed away in 1902, and not long after, Anna would pass away in 1916. In the 1950s, a woman named Isabel Altus, also known as Goldie, would buy the house, planning to renovate it back into something beautiful again. Now, she would always wear black, and local children had started to call her a witch. No one knows for sure if she did practice witchcraft or not, but she did live there alone and not many people liked her. She was found dead in her rocking chair inside the home, and later on they found some strange objects inside the basement that could have been linked to witchcraft. Every day I can see the sunshine See the sunrise before it goes away. When I go out, I can smell the green grass. I can see the birds fly before it goes away. A thousand flowers on your bed, Chinese food to take away. Connie Island will be kids. To this day, the new owners deal with some very odd paranormal activity. Through extensive research, they had discovered that there were eight or nine deaths inside the mansion, and there are plenty of stories to back all of it up. It all started with sounds of children laughing, running up and down the halls, and opening and closing the doors. All of this had been captured on video and audio. So here's the, that's not it. Whoa! Oh my so god! It's, and, awesome! Isn't that crazy? And I was telling a story of an EVP I captured. I was in front of this mirror. I don't know if you, with this is the same kind of laugh you heard, but um, this is what happened after we heard the bang. <laughs> Whoa! 
What? So that's the laugh. You know, when you hear a baby crying, you're just like, um, what is that? Like, here you go. <laughs> No. What the f no. Dude. <laughs> no. And we heard That's... that with our ears. Throughout the years, the hauntings had started to ramp up more and the energy began to feel more dark and demonic. In fact, one of the guests who had gone to the mansion for the activity had captured what looked like a dark figure with glowing eyes. In between this hallway, I like to sit in the hall and put my recorder under the door. And this is why I don't want the hallway. This full body shadow person with glowing eyes. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh, and my phone on. is dirty, so. That's okay. <laughs> that there he is. Insane. I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken me very far. I've tried to be my own all in all and everything, but it's just been a hard and arduous thing. A handful of others who have visited the house have documented that they have gotten scratched in the basement. Many think that the entity who was doing the scratching could possibly be that dark figure that was captured on the photo. Last but not least, there is a haunted doll down in that basement, also named John. Now the spirit that inhabits that doll is very aggressive, but no one can really get a good answer as to who it is or where it came from. Many people who go down in the basement notice a feeling like they're constantly being watched, or as if there's something down there just waiting to attack them. It's the one place in the home that almost no one will go to alone. Our goal here tonight is to try and find out if these hauntings are true and hopefully solve the mysteries here in the McIntyre Villa. But before we do jump into the episode, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, please give us a chance. Press the subscribe button. Also turn on the push notifications bell so it lets you guys know when we post every single Sunday. <laughs> That's it guys. Just subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Okay guys, we are here at the largest location we have ever done an investigation at, the McIntyre Villa! Boys, <laughs> this place is ginormous! Dude, not just that, it's cold. When do we get out of this stupid? <laughs> it's getting old. I don't understand why this place is not more well known <laughs> to the no YouTube idea. community. This place is huge. This is the back, unfortunately there's something really loud on the front side, but dude, let me tell you. What are you doing? Music Mom? video. Oh. With all that being said, boys, it's very cold out. What degrees is it? One. Oh God. One degree! That's hella warm. <laughs> all right, boys, put your hands together. Let's get an amazing investigation. This place is huge as one, two, three, macaroni, macaroni villa! Yeah! I'm scared! I love that guy! He's scared, but he's running towards the building. <laughs> we are calling out to any spirit here in this mansion. There are a lot of stories going around about you. The ones who lived here, the ones who were conjured here. In fact, in this very hallway, in the doorway over there, there was a figure caught peeking around the corner with glowing eyes. And Goldie, you'd wear a black dress all the time. And if you were seen by any of the children across the road, they would call you witch. And unfortunately, you had passed away in the rocking chair down in the living room. Whoever else is here, we come here to have a conversation with anybody. Oh, Hi. Before we continue, I'd like to be proper and introduce the three of us so that you know who we are. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. Feel free, we have a device later on that's coming out. You can say our names. Wow. Is that you right there? Can you make that go off again? I understand that you know how a lot of these devices work, but I'd like to go ahead and explain that the devices that we brought, that one that you're setting off at the top of the stairs, none of these devices that we have, none of these objects that we have, will harm you in- Hold on. How did you know that? Oh my, I didn't know, but I swear I felt someone standing right there, dude. I'm so sorry for interrupting, but that felt like someone was like right here like this. That's where the shadow was, right there. What I was trying to say is that none of them are going to harm you in any way. 
We're just trying to find out if you're interested in having a conversation with us because to our knowledge, not a lot of people do come here besides the owner to communicate with you guys and have a conversation. We come here with no disrespect in any way. But we are trying to find answers about that black figure that was caught in the doorway. And Goldie, if you're here, or anybody else, like I said. Is that you right there? There's that device right on the ground. If you make that go off, that'll prove to us that you're right here. I'm not crazy, dude. I know I felt something right there. I'd like to start with... You were right. That's incredible. I want to start by using these devices that you're able to use a word, whether it's just one word or a whole sentence. We have two of them, so they give you more of an ability to use more than just a couple of words. Okay, let's do it, boys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was stepping. I'm gonna set this one over there where there's obvious traffic. Maybe you set yours on the ground over there. Speak loud and clear into this device, please. We just wanna know what you have to say. I'm gonna set this one right here. Use your energy. Who is here? Who's watching us from a distance? Goldie, what did the children used to call you? Maybe you can let us know what exactly happened to you here and why you still remain in this building. Ryan. <gasps> what the f No way the first thing that comes out. Hi. Nice to meet you. Who am I talking to? Are you around the corner? Can you make that device at the top of the stairs go off if you understand what I'm saying? Please. Did you just see that balloon get pulled down? I did. Holy f Dude, I'm not kidding. I saw it. I saw you it. You want to see what, what I just saw? I saw it. I just saw this, Wyatt. I don't want to fuck it. There it is. I just heard. No, you didn't. Look what I just saw. I'm not kidding. By itself. Fine. Oh! There it is! Look, and it slowly went up by itself, dude. I'm not kidding. Bone ground. It just said bone ground. Who is here? You just said my name. Feel free to say the other two. That'll just kind of let us know that you are here and you do understand us. That's weird. That device doesn't normally go off like that. No. Is there anything you'd like to say? They love that device. Well, they're way more active right there now. The Shadow Spirit. John. What? That's the owner! That used to be the owner, right? Not only was that the owner, that's also the name of whatever possesses the doll in the basement. HOLY <laughs> John! Can you give us a sign? Make a noise! Please! What the f***? That has not gone off at all! And that device that's next to it is what said John. Let go, please! Maybe that's the shadow guy. Meat. Meat. Meat! Meat John. Oh. My god. Are you dude. talking about the doll downstairs? You think John's gonna give me the information about that shadow man that was captured on camera? Maybe that's the spirit that possesses John, the doll. Ancient spirit. Ancient spirit? What the f Meet John, the ancient spirit. Dude, that is an ancient doll, bro. What's weird too is though in the picture his eyes glow. Yeah. I've never seen that ever. No. Are you a bad spirit or a good spirit, John? You can let us know. We just want to know what's going on around here. How did you get here? Were you once the owner of this mansion? 
How long has that doll been here? No idea. I like to talk. Either way, we still want to have a conversation with Hold you. on. The EVPs that... Oh, dude. Shit. The EVPs that she catches downstairs, next to John the doll, he talks. That's the one that said you. That's why we're here then. Come on, show us what you can do. We want to see... Boy. Little boy! I'm sorry. We want to see something we've never seen before. Thank you for that. We've seen that. Can you move something? Just use your energy if you need any. We have devices here. The ones that the guys are holding in their hands. The ones that are scattered all around the place. Use the battery. Suck out the energy out of that. Manifest it, please. Is there something evil in this house? In this mansion? We will touch you. Whoa! The next question I was just gonna ask. Is that evil spirit able to scratch people? Because people have talked about being scratched. That's crazy. Whatever's coming through the devices, like, already. Is there anywhere you'd like us to go? We were thinking of making our way to the room with all the dolls and the toys. Is that a good idea? Or is there somewhere else you want us to go? Whoa, that scared me. No way! They're coming. Deserve. Deserve. My next question was, you know, when I said people have been scratched, they deserved it. There's so many people that would like just come and be hella disrespectful and antagonize and yeah, yeah. Dude, what is this? Oh, that's a scry mirror, dude. Check no. this out. Should we scry? But the best way to really do like a scry is to be in complete darkness. They want us to scry, dude. Since there's a scry mirror here, we're gonna try this little method. We tried it a long time ago. All you do is basically stare into the black mirror and you pretty much need to visualize and believe that there is a spirit here. Supposedly, you can either see them or things start to ramp up way more actively. So. We're gonna shut off the light, try to do a scry. If there is any spirit here, can you show yourself in this mirror? I'm giving you all of my energy. I'm staring through this mirror, and if you can... Do you hear that? I do. Show me what you look like. Who is here? The shadow man with the glowing eyes, the ancient spirit, John. Show yourself, please. Big. No. Whoa, that was running right behind us. That just made me very nervous. Did you just run behind me and River? We felt it, we heard it. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not just hear that? Someone's watching. Whoa! Dude, I told you. I heard someone literally right here. Who's watching? John? Whoa. Dude, look at that balloon. Look Whoa. at the Are you taking that downstairs? That's They're going, going downstairs. downstairs. Dude, That's going downstairs. I think they want us to go downstairs. Wait, we we asked lot. them. Are they going downstairs? Follow the balloon. I'm terrified of balloons. I'll stay back, but follow that balloon. Dude, this is crazy. They're taking that downstairs. Are we catching this? I died. Oh my god! This is crazy! Bro, it's taking the corner. Dude! They if don't they go, just do oh, that balloon now! If that goes all the way downstairs, we're coming! We're following That's going you. downstairs, dude. Dude, take this! Oh my god, this is crazy! That's going downstairs. Which way is it gonna go? Dude, Which this way? is crazy! I can't believe we're catching this right now. Are you going left? It went back up. It stopped. What? That's insane. It dude. went all the way downstairs by itself, dude. That is a horror movie. Literally. And this is the part where we die. Wait, it's going right. They're going right. What goes right? Nothing. That's like a corner. 
How's that possible, guys? Can you take the balloon that direction? I don't know if you're able to fit it through that door or if you take it down to the basement, that's where we're going. You had enough ability, enough power to bring that balloon perfectly without hitting any walls down these stairs. Thank you. That was fantastic. Guys. Children around you. Whoa! Dude, dude, I swear to God, I just heard a little girl. That explains somebody taking the balloon down the stairs. Children around you. What the f was that? Hello? So, dude, I, somebody was trying to bring us downstairs for a reason. There's got to be a reason. Watch that balloon come back up. If it does, I swear to God, I'm done. What the f Did you just see that? Yeah. Can you let go, please? I like it here. Whoa! Was this your home? Whoa! Thank you so much! Whoa, dude. That was sick. Did a child take that balloon down the stairs? For a reason. To the right. Look to the right! That's, That's in the child's room. That's also where the balloon went. Oh, me? And you were just going down. Guys, the balloon! Guys, the balloon went into the room! The balloon went in the room! That is what I asked for. You remember me asking if they could take it through that door. Is that where you want us to go? Okay, for some reason it stopped in front of the only door that is locked. And the owner of this house said it remains locked. But look it, the balloon is like just stagnant right there. Forward. Forward! Forward! The device just said forward! When she was talking about how the balloons can move? Dude. Is that where you want us to go? The device just said forward, Whoa. and it said look right. So I literally looked this way, and boom, the balloon was through the door. The balloon's not... Attention. Pay, Pay attention. attention! Okay, we gotta go. Let's follow this balloon. Grab this up. is weird. We don't usually do this, but since we caught on camera something leading the way somewhere, there's a reason for this. This is not happening right now. We're coming! Okay, look at this gap that that balloon had to go under. Whoa! This is what is weird. The owner keeps that door locked and said that nobody can go in there. Should we call her and ask why? Yeah. I can try. If it's nothing crazy, then fine, it's nothing crazy. Alice. Did that just say Alice? It did! It's Alice! That's the name of the dude's second wife. No f way. She died here. This is a very odd investigation. Hello? Hi, Stephanie. Hey, what's up? So, we were just upstairs, and we literally watched and followed a balloon get pulled perfectly all the way down to the first floor. It stopped dead perfect in front of this locked door. Is there something crazy behind that locked door? The most recent owners died in that room. That's all I know of. So okay. one in 2006 and one in 2014. That little hallway, like between the door and like the curtains, that area is just effed up. When I would sleep in that room, I would not leave that room because you can just hear pacing back and forth. For the most part, I avoid those stairs if it's nighttime. It's just uncomfortable. So the device did say Alice as soon as we got to the bottom Shut of the up. stairs. Are you serious? Alice? Yeah. <laughs> so Mr. McIntyre's first wife, she's the first death in the first house. Wife. The daughter that I was talking about earlier that's not the daughter, her name was Alice. Okay, we're going to continue. I just wanted to call and see if that was... That's crazy. Okay, let me know if you guys need anything else or have anything else will happen. All right, thank you. <laughs> have fun. Okay, bye-bye. They're on the go. No shot! As soon as I hang up? Hold on. No way. If this moves... Dude, what are we gonna do, guys? They're moving! How about this? Let's set a camera down watching it. Okay, we're gonna make our way up to the doll room. This camera has an eye on the balloon. If the balloon continues to travel, we're gonna check on it here a bit later. If it has moved, then there's obviously more of a sign here. But right now, we're gonna make our way to the doll room. So, let's go. Sorry. 
You guys want to know something? <laughs> Holes. I'm just gonna say that right now. This God, guy's that dead. He's dying. He's dying. Uh, you gotta drop the camera because he <laughs> died. <laughs> you, dude. Oh, that made me tear up. You guys wanna know something weird? See your eyes? Looking right to the room? They're looking right to the room. Why? <laughs> you, Wyatt. You're such an <laughs> hole. Hello? We just wanna have a conversation if somebody's in here. I hope you don't mind. We wanted to come into this room because there have been a couple of devices that had captured your voice saying some swear words, seeming like you're very angry. The children play games. Whoa! Tell me this isn't a child's room. There's two beds. And what I'm thinking is where that spirit came from is this puppet right here. We were told that that puppet is cursed, so maybe if you can make yourself known, we would really appreciate that. Why? Open the door. Approach. That device right there, if you do approach us, if you walk in front of it, it can detect you. You just have to let it. It'll just start to play music. Hallway. Make that device go off, please. There. Where? Can you make this music go off? All you have to do is this. You ready? It's your turn. Refuse. Refuse? Like they don't want to? They're starting to get more intense. Mm -hmm. If you walk in front of that music, that gives us a sign that you understand what we're saying, and that also proves that you're strong enough to show yourself. Watching. Watching? Whoa. Someone's watching. It said that literally in the hall when we were doing this crime mirror. Yeah. What was that? What? You didn't feel that? No. A slam. Not loud enough. I could faintly hear it, but I felt it, the vibration in the floor. The only thing that's below us is the basement. If nobody in this room wants to talk to us, we're gonna go ahead and make our way upstairs to the portal. No, I didn't. No, I did what? Didn't want to talk to us? No way did that just say that. Wait, what if we try an EVP, open up that thing with the mannequin like she did? Before we do go, I'd like to try one thing. I've got this device that gives you the ability. What the f Hold on. Not just that doll, but upstairs is that portal room. I have this device that will give you the ability for us to hear what your voice actually sounds like. I know the owner has used it on you before, so if you can, please. We're gonna do a couple of EVPs. There's a section that I wanna do it in that closet. There's an original mannequin, and apparently this mannequin will talk back to you. So, I'm gonna give it a shot right now. F that? Did you guys hear that? Mm -hmm. That sounded like a music box playing. The only other thing that plays music is the rocking horse in the hallway. <laughs> oh my god, I swear to god he just smiled at you. No he did I not. I swear to god he just smiled at you, dude. No you didn't. He did. No you didn't. He smiled at you. Dude. Here, I gotta do something. No! No, no, no! Please! I'm scared. <laughs> there is somebody here in this closet that is able to project their voice in this device. Are you here with us right now? The spirit that talks back into this device. Why do you say the things you say? Are you angry? This thing's heavy. There's somebody here in this closet that is able to project their voice in this device. Are you here with us right now? What the f was that? That just said shut the f up. Why do you say the things you say? 
Are you angry? That sounds like f***ing <laughs> whimpering! It does, dude. What is that? I'm gonna play it again, but faster. There's somebody here in this closet that is able to project their voice in this device. Are you here with us right now? A spirit that talks back into this device. Why do you say the things you say? Are you angry? Do you hear that? Sounds like they're saying, go away. Right? Someone is stuck in that thing and they want out. Dude. Hi. Thank you for approaching us. What the was that? That's out there. That's facing more towards the doorway. That's like somebody's behind you, actually. Are you trying to draw us out there? Do you not want us in here? Oh, holy f Do you guys hear that? Yeah. What the f is that? That's above us. They're very faint, but you can hear it sounds like like that exact. I kind of want to make our way Listen up. To this. Since not a whole lot is happening in here. Hold on. I swear to God, I just heard the sound of a piano. Since not a whole lot is happening in here. Hold on. I swear to God, I just heard the sound of a piano. You guys did not hear that? You think that? Yo, the music! He said he heard a different music box. Yes, I Dude, did. I swear I just heard a piano playing. Do you think that could be like maybe like the deep key or the, the low key or whatever? Mm -hmm. no. I'm in the corner. Oh, f What corner? Oh, f Dude, the mannequin's in the corner in the closet. The mannequin is in the corner, dude. And the music box has been going off like someone's behind you. Yeah. We're gonna make our way up to the attic. Since nobody in here is giving us too much information, you can continue to play with these devices, these toys in here. If you want us to come downstairs, maybe you can come and get us or come and tell us something through the device that involves us coming back down to this room. Let's make our way to the attic. What the f Instantly, look at that. Ooh, f No way. Yeah. That just went off right away. That's the skeleton she said the eyes fell out and the head turned. No what the f way? She said there's something over here on this side of the attic that freaks her out the most. To our understanding, there's five portals to five different locations, including this one, that gave spirits access to come here. We are calling to any of the spirits who are up in this attic to come and communicate with us. That's insane, dude. We didn't touch that ball. No. Are you over there? Can you please leave it alone? Come to this one over here. Holy f Whoa! That didn't just happen. No way. Keep that ball off, please. I have the same devices, a bunch of those objects, those toys. My plan is to set five in front of each portal, in front of each mirror. And what I'd like to do is see where the traffic is coming from. Which location. We're going to make our way over there. So if you want to talk to us, please follow us over there. These devices right here, I'm going to go ahead and set around. I want you to show me which one you came out of. Which one you keep going back and forth through to get to here and to go to where you came from. If at any point in time you'd like to share with us where you came from, that would be amazing. Choose. 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 No way. Choose what mirror? Oh my God, dude. Okay, the Axe Murder House. Show us which one it is. 
No. No, it didn't. Which one is that mirror? That is the act murder house, Brian. No, again! Dude. Thank you so much. We just chose what mirror said Axe Murder House, and the one in front of the Axe Murder House is going off like crazy. Can you maybe choose a different mirror? Whoa! Whatever's going through here right now has a lot of f power. Dude, who are you? So you're saying that these portals actually worked? Now all of a sudden the balls are not going off at all. That was crazy, dude. The one in front of the Axe Murder House after I chose it to go off started lighting up. Wait a second. What? what? You were talking about like traversing the portals going back and forth through them. They said choose one. Maybe it went through it. Oh, to the Axe Murder House? It's someone else. Whoa! Someone else. Someone else maybe from the Axe Murder House. No oh way. Oh my dude. god, that gave me the chills on my back. Dude, no way. Yo, okay, so I was asking, tell us which portal or show us which portal you came from. What one you go back and forth through. And then it said choose. And so I said, okay, light up the one in front of the Axe Murder House. And boom, they lit up the one in front of the Axe Murder House. I didn't even know which one was which. I just set the balls down. It's not going off at all anymore. Can you light that one up again? Or any other one. But if you can... Correct. Dude. Yeah. No way. If you can light up the one in front of the Axe Murder House portal. What? EMF. That would be great. Whoever's over there in that back corner as well. I have this other device. A flashlight. Something simple. I'm gonna set it over there, and if you want us to go over there, or if you want to communicate and show us that you are over there, all I want you to do is light it up. Turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and set it over there, and then I'm just gonna come right back here. Sounds good? Yep. Please light up one of these devices. We're trying to see if this experiment actually worked. I put that flashlight over there. We're just trying to communicate with anybody here. If there is somebody who can hear us through these portals, come through them. Manifest yourself. Come talk to us. I don't mean to scare you. Whoa. Maybe you were right, Wyatt. Maybe somebody went through the portal. Mm -hmm. If you can hear us on the other side of those portals, can you come back through? If there's any way you can speak to us and give us some information as well. You meant on who is up here or who lives in this house? Or that dark entity with the glowing eyes. Who is that? Maybe by having this experiment, they're able to just go wherever they want. That's exactly what it seems like. So instead of being here, since they've been here for so long, they're like going to all the other different locations. That's crazy. If that was like something that could actually work, that's insane. Yeah. I'm thinking that the reason why the EMF would be going off, right? It's in the middle of these portals. So you think some source of energy would be coming out of them? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Probably. We heard you. Turn on that light, please. Don't be afraid of us. Watch what I do. I'm ready. Let's see what you can do. There is a shapeshifter. What the What? The black shadow with the glowing eyes. Ooh, maybe. Am I correct? There's something very evil in this mansion, in this house. How did they get here? Somebody had told us that they're an ancient spirit. I just heard the EMF meter tick. I see it going off. You just gotta turn that on. Turn that flashlight on. You guys heard that step over there, right? Did, yeah. Okay, so there's gotta be somebody watching us from over there. He died. He died. You giving us information about the shadow spirit? The ancient spirit? Could you imagine, dude, being a spirit from like years ago, like thousands of years ago? Bad. Bad. Oh, shit. And like you were saying earlier, do you think like you got earlier people who died, those spirits, you think they're more like conscious? And then older spirits, it's almost like zombies, you know, you deteriorate mm -hmm. as the years go by. 
Maybe that's his deterioration, was just a source, like a field of dark energy, and that's how he presents himself. You never know. Give us a sign, please. That's still going. There's gotta be energy going through that. Dude, if it's a successful portal. <gasps> oh! The ball! Whoa! Can you light the flashlight up, please? Back! back. They're back! It said back! Oh, what the Yo, I wonder, like, if while they're traveling through the mirrors, the maybe EMF. that's what gives that energy, because that was just going oh, off. Look at it now. It's gone. Can you show us? You just did over in that corner. Can you turn the light on if you didn't hear me earlier? There's a light on a bench right over there. If you tap it, it'll light up. Is that your corner? It's complete dark. What the f Oh! Whoa! Thank you. Are you having a hard time lighting this flashlight up? Is it hard to do? Maybe they just don't have the strength. The bench! The bench! That's where the light is! Can you light that light up, please? Just tap it. Give it some energy. That was weird, man. The odds that it would say the bench after you just said the bench. light is on the bench. Yeah. I wonder if they're trying. I don't know if they can. It's okay if you can't turn it on. We understand. I don't know if you know how to take the energy from our devices, but the devices that we have in our hands and everything, everything that we set down, you could drain all that energy out of them to gain more. If not, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Keep the camera on. Whoa! You Keep just the camera on. You just literally talked about the energy from the cameras. They're on. We're ready. Dude, it is so cold up here, bro. Mm -hmm. What is the degrees up here? Cold. Nice. Like 12 degrees. 12 degrees? Mm -hmm. That's butt cold, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm in this big jacket and it's still freezing my off. My battery's down. I think the light tried to just turn on. Yeah! Oh my god! And the ball! Can you hear me? I just caught it and the ball at the same time. I caught that whole thing. That was crazy. Dude, I'm like, I think the light's about to turn on. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh my god. Sure took them long enough, but they did it, dude. Thank you. Can you turn it off? This is just to show that you understand what we're saying. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, yes, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. If that's the only time, I don't care, dude. Wait, what? Hold on. Did you just hear that? That was knocking. Thank you so much. Like I said, thank you. We're going to be making our way down into the basement. It is very, very freezing up here. I can't last up here for a whole night like you do. That was amazing. Okay, we didn't spend a lot of time up here, but I don't know. I kind of want to make our way downstairs. There's just some weird feeling that I'm getting. It might be a good one. But so far, so good, dude. This place is amazing. It is. More or less, also, my feet, they're starting to sting because it's so cold. So, let's make our way down into the basement. Somebody was talking to us upstairs about you, John. This doll right here, we've been told that's your name. Why did somebody tell us to come and talk to the ancient spirit, meaning you? John, if you are here, we would like to have a conversation because we are trying to find out if that spirit, the dark spirit with the glowing eyes, is you. Do not hesitate. We're here for a few hours. We just want to know if you are here. Should we turn John's balls on? Let's, they are on. Let's move them to the center. Right here? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. You know what I just noticed? What? He has no eyes, dude. What oh. if that means that's why his oh, eyes are red, red, dude? The glowing eyes. He literally has zero eyes. Look, they're gone. What if he's the evil spirit that's been walking around, dude? The one that they captured. That's what I was asking. That's what we're trying to find out. I want to try this experiment with you to try and find out some more information. You know how this works? 
I have a device that you can use to communicate with us and we can hear what your voice really sounds like. During this EVP, I think we can gain the most energy, apparently is what we're told, with the red light, so. Was that the REM pod? That was like a hard touch. Where is that REM pod? That's, he put it around the corner. It's down the hallway, that camera caught it. We hear you. Dude. I think we should go red light. Let's go red light. Come in here. You hear that movement? Please yeah. tell me yes. Dude, that means somebody's like touching it. Who oh, stopped when I got here? Do you see anything there? No. Anybody? Who's touching that? Can you do that again? Right in front of me, please. Dude, just hear that? Yeah. <gasps> what the f Please touch that device. Are you the one that's been watching us from afar? John? Dude. I have a feeling if you come back over here, they're gonna come back and start watching it. us again. I'm gonna do it. There's no way. There's no way. As soon as you approach them, they walk away again. I had a feeling, that's why I walked over there. I was gonna see if they would literally let go. And within an instant, as soon as I turned the corner, I don't even think I got it lighting up. What Whoa. the f What the f Guys, this is all making sense now. The spirit that got captured on camera, he was watching, he's spying on them. He was just watching them from a different room. He's peeking through the door at them and somebody had accidentally captured him. And that goes along with what we got at the very beginning. Somebody's watching. Dude, whoa. I'm gonna try this EVP. John, talk to us. Talk through your doll, please. Use your energy. We hear you. We know you're around. I'm gonna start it now. John, are you attached to this doll? Would you consider yourself an evil spirit? Are you the shadow with the glowing eyes? What was this place used for a long time ago? Here we go. How whoever that is, whether it's John or not, why is the REM pod so quiet now? Dude, there's another doll in a chair in the yeah. corner of that room. Yeah. He's looking right at the REM pod. What if he was the one that was making it go off? That was death. something. Yeah, it did sound like death. Death! Yeah. Why isn't that REM pod going off anymore, dude? That is really weird. That's really weird. Now I'm really curious. There's a chair right here. I'm gonna set it there. And we're gonna stand right here. Ask her questions. What do you think? Okay, how about this? I'm gonna set it right in this chair. We're gonna back away, back into this room. Ask our questions. Speak loud and clear through this device, please. The one who is around the corner, watching us. Are you John? If you're not John, then who are you? Can you say something into that? Like you do for the owner?
Where did you come from? Was this once a clinic? I just heard a voice. Let's listen to this. Yes, it was. Should I try one more or no? What do you think? One more? I'm down for one more. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do one more EVP. I'm gonna squat down next to John the doll and I'm gonna see if anything, by any chance, will speak to us through him. Let's give it a shot. Are the stories true that there is an entity attached to this doll? Is this basement yours? Do you make people feel uncomfortable down here? If you know the number, how many people did you scratch? All right, let's see. Ow. There is. Oh my god. Just said twelve. Said twelve. Did you know the number? How many people did you scratch? Did you hear it? Yeah. Twelve. We don't know a confirmed number, but that's pretty f weird. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Maybe we set up both the the talker devices. These two other devices here also give you the ability to speak, whether it's one word or a whole sentence. We're gonna go ahead and set them here on the chairs and just kind of let you hopefully get comfortable enough to stop being so far away and just come over here. Like I said, we're just gonna sit here. Why aren't you making that device buzz and light up in the doorway anymore? What happened? Damage. Damage! Don't worry, you're not gonna break it or anything. Maybe this doll. The doll's damaged. They damaged people. There's all kinds of different, like, means. What? What did you hear? Dude, that sounded like one of those chairs getting dragged. It was like... On wood or cement. My thing is, look at this doll, dude. The head's cracked. What if when the head cracked, that released the- What the f The entity that has the glowing eyes. That's crazy. How did you get inside this doll? We're not here to put you back in the doll, so don't be afraid of us. EMF meters? The one on the table. Not both of them? Just one? Who's over there? You've been watching us this whole time. We know you're in there. You might as well come in here and talk with us. We're not going to be here for much longer. So if you can, take these last few minutes and give us all you got. Explain yourself. We just want to know what's going on here in this mansion. There's multiple spirits. I understand that it's a bit hard to give us information, but please focus. We won't harm you. We won't 
harm you? You can say that, but how do we know for sure? What the f was that? There are demons. What the f Whoa! Oh f Down in this basement? Or in the f mansion? We've been talking about this dark shadow spirit. There are demons, Literally. the device says. Yeah. Who? Tell us the name. Passage. Passage? Upstairs. The portal. Yep. Can you name the demon? Table. Go left. The lights. Go left. The lights. That's literally around the corner of the device. I said the table. Go left. The lights. Are the stories even true about this doll? The EMF on the table is looking out. No. Go left the lights. What the? Oh, the table. Wait, you're serious? Making contact. We're making contact. Whoa! Was that device just going off? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's what we're looking for. I'm starting to get like. Such bad chills right now. That was weird, dude. Very specific. Kid. kid! This is somebody else then. Do you believe a kid would be down here though? I think that it would be pretty creepy. Down here, it was rumored that there was the abortion clinic slash illegal adoption center. Oh my god, that's right. We're following you. Whoa! Sorry. We won't harm you. We're following you. Earlier, when we were in the hallway, there are children around, the balloon goes down the f***ing stairs. Dude, they were literally trying to show us whatever was behind that locked door. We confirmed with the owner that two people recently died in there. She yeah. will touch you. No, I won't. What the f***? Whoa! Wait. <laughs> my god, dude. She will touch you. No, I won't. Oh my god! Who? Who is she? Oh my god! That is incredible! Are you saying that there is somebody here that can physically touch us? What are you talking about? Scratching? Grabbing our hand? Pushing us? Tugging on our shirt? What is it? You know, it's wild. The stories do say that people get touched. I just want to know what they mean by that. Killing. Oh! Oh, she will touch you. No, I won't. And I asked, what kind of touching? Killing. You think this female was the one who was helping do the abortions? Well, maybe. I mean, if those stories are true, then that's pretty crazy. If the children are around us, can you give us information about John? I don't know if you're afraid of talking about this dark spirit the shadow man with glowing eyes, but don't be afraid, please. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right! Meaning that they're scared to talk? I'm afraid to talk about that entity. Whoa, Edith is a famous demon. There's bad here. Oh my god, you're right! Edith the demon! She will touch you! Killing! Oh f There's bad here! This is very f Weird. It is really weird. Should we fear the one that's able to touch us and hurt us? I like it here. I like it here. Meaning that there's no way Ancient I'm- Ancient spirit. Ancient spirit again? I like it here. Ancient spirit. I was just gonna say, do you think that they're talking about what River was, you know, observing that the doll's head is cracked, so maybe they escaped out of the doll. Maybe that's why they're distant. They're afraid that somebody's gonna contain them back inside something. Make them trapped in something. That would be crazy. I, I don't know like what is going on here. I feel like if it is anywhere or does reside anywhere, it would be down here. And how we were feeling earlier, being watched and shit like that. I think you're right. If they were confined to that doll, I wouldn't want to come back down here. If that was me. Mm -hmm. To any of the spirits that can hear me, that goes for the ancient spirit or any of the other spirits, creatures, whatever you are, this is your last chance. Give us a sign. We don't have much time here. Use the rest of your energy. Show us that you're here. Let us know any information that you have, please. Why have you come? 
exactly for one reason, and that is to try and find out the truth about the stories. We want to see you, we want to hear you, whatever it is. Run now. What the f Why? Are you warning us? Are you telling us to go for a reason? Oh my god. Dude, they've been there the whole time. Did you understand? Understand. That just scared the out of me, dude. Did you see what happened? I was walking this way. I heard a gurgling. Like it was What the f dude? That's twice. That's Maybe we careful. should go. Like just get out of the area so we don't get harmed. That's all I care about. Ever since I got hurt at Hill House, dude, I just, I'm, I don't want to get hurt again. That Whoa. That went full. Hold on. That one, that one, and that, I think. You around that corner again? Who's causing all that to go off? Did you hear that? That was a slide. Should we go up to the first or second floor and say our goodbyes? I just want to say thank you to whoever was communicating with us. We're going to go upstairs and say our goodbyes on the second floor hallway. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. We are very thankful that you showed us that you were here. Talk to us. Approach. I know there's a lot of spirits here. Regardless, we just appreciate everything you did tonight for us. We are going to be making our way out of here, so thank you. Okay, Ghost Gang, that was amazing. This place is so crazy. If you guys ever want to do- <gasps> Approaching! No way, we dude. We won't harm you. We won't harm you! Oh, sh If you guys ever want to do an investigation here, we highly advise you guys. They have a website. It will be down in our description. This place is so creepy, crazy. You're bound to capture evidence when you come here, for sure. With all that being said, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel and keep finding yourselves coming back, please hit that subscribe button. It only takes a couple of minutes and just give us a chance. We will see you next week. Peace. Okay.